I'm here to present you my idea why I will open my own business. It's been a journey for us, for my family and for me, and I would like to share it with you. When you see someone successful, don't you feel you can be successful? Yes? Yeah. Well, me too. Me too. That's why I'm here. My journey, uh, that's what I want to talk about, my journey. So this is what pr pr I'm going to present. I'm going to present this a personal challenge for me. I would like to have control of my time. I would like to have a financial freedom as a medium, right? And I would like to definitely help others as a final goal. So why is a personal challenge? Uh, I have to overcome fear. I guess all of us at some point in our lives experience fear. Fear sometimes is uh, our worst enemy. It definitely don't let us move forward. So one of the things is for me is overcoming fear. I'm always uh, a tennis player. I have played tennis when I was, when I was, since I was very little. And I think it was a great, great thing for me now what I'm thinking it. Why? Because Every time when I go into, uh, into the court, I feel nervous and I feel fear. But I've been practicing all this time and I feel that I can do it. I go in the court, I still feel the fear, I begin to play and some of a sudden the fear is gone. It's gone. And I think that can happen to all of us. You just need to do it. You just need to go out there, put yourself in the situation and do it and the confidence is going to come and the fear is going to go. Why is a personal challenge? Because it gets the best out of you. After you overcome the fear, after you are in there playing this match, and, and you feel that you can beat the other guy that sometimes is better than you, then you're getting the best out of you, that you don't even know that you had it inside you. So that's why it's a personal challenge. This is our life all the time. We are looking always for personal challenge, but we wanna, we wanna get up there, we wanna climb it. And when you're doing that, what are you going to feel? You're going to feel empowered. You're going to feel it. It is, it is an awesome feeling that you can say, I can do it. I'm going to do it. I'm in this situation. I overcome my fear. I'm doing it right now. I finished my match. I beat that guy that was better than me. I feel empowered. I feel that I can do it again and again. Why not? Why financial freedom? So let me tell you a little bit about my journey. We've been, uh, we, we are immigrants, as all of us are. Uh, we lived in the United States. I spent two years in uh, a master's degree studying, trying to get our skills to, to work in the, in, the, in the place. We did, we accomplished that goal. Then we went to look for a job in our field. It took us, took me like six months or so. At some point I was, I was really down. And I said to myself, I got to do this formula again and again. I got to get out there, send resumes, go to all interviews I can, even though sometimes I feel I don't have a chance. But at some point, something is going to come. When I begin to have that, realize that, I expose myself to, to the environment, and eventually that job came. The job came, and it wasn't the job that I was expecting. It was a job in sales which I never did. And I learned a lot from it. And it was the same thing again and again. The formulas keep repeating. I got to overcome a fear of something that I don't really know. How I'm going to relate to people if I've only been a starting engineer all my life with numbers and this and that. But I did it. And now I feel comfortable selling and talking to people. This for me is a real challenge. And financial freedom is definitely the medium. When you, when you have your own business, when you have your own life, I had a job. And at some point, I realized that my job is, is limiting me. So I want to move forward. I want to have some freedom. I want to do some more things with my life. I did have that experience, so I, I'm going now to the new experience. And that's financial freedom will give us some tools to help others and to keep doing all the goals that we have. So I would like to control time. Why? Because so, so many times, you have to wake up and you say, okay, I got to go to this, I got to go to that. You feel like the time is controlling your life. You feel like uh, you're embarking in this journey, like everybody's going and you're going back with the mover, right? Back with all the people. 
why I have to do that? What I can go myself and do with the time, what, everything I want, and do something productive and take control of my life. So a question for me, what would you do? A question for you guys, what would you do if you could spend your time consciously following your dreams instead of unconsciously going through life? I want you guys to think a little bit about this. And this is, this is why I am now. So, <clears throat> And at the end, I just want to change the world. I think it can be done. So when I have my own financial freedom, when, when I have uh, the control of my time, that means that I can do a lot of things to help people out there. There is a lot of situations, there are a lot of situations People that are famous that are doing things like Bill Gates, he's probably in the next five years, he's going to spend his life giving away all that he got, all the money that he got. He's going to give it back to society. Why? Maybe because that was his original goal. He sees he some, something he saw, a situation, and he said, okay, I want to change the world. How can I do that? That's the same question I have. Another story, Shakira, all of you guys know it, he's a famous singer. Why is she so successful? One day, her family were broke. She went to the streets and saw the reality. He see a kid that he was starving, and he says, someday I want to help this kid. Why is he starving? What I can do something about it, right? You can, you can. And she, she's doing it. Now she have an, an awesome uh, organization. She have schools all over the country. She's helping people every single day. And that is fulfilling his life, and for me, I think she's more fulfilled out of that than the singing itself. Singing is the medium, singing is the financial freedom, but the real passion is to help others. So I want to explain a little bit to finish my presentation about this guy. Uh, for me, he's some kind of uh, model that you can do things in your life. Maybe some of you know it, he's one of the best tennis players in the world right now. Uh, when he began, and is still now, a lot of tennis critics, they say, no, this guy's not good. His technique is not good. He's not going to win a, a tournament in the in Australian Open because that's not his, his court. He's just going to win in his comfort zone. He proved everybody wrong. Everybody wrong. Why? Because this guy, his nickname is the bull. The bull is the signal. This is his signal. He can do it. I can do it. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what people think about it. It doesn't matter what critics are telling him. He still goes out there, and he knows in his mind that he can beat anybody. And he did it. And he's going to do it again. He's injured at this time. Today, this guy has a real hard injury in, in, his, in his knee. Everybody's telling that he's done. He's going to come back. He's going to beat everybody again, because that's why he is. So this is what I want to share for, with you guys. Yes, we can. And dream big, please. Thank you.